All right, folks, in this video, we're going to update the BIOS of our ASUS H610M-E D4 motherboard. Um, we're inside sys information, which you can see here. And to get there, basically, if you're in Windows 10, you're going to go to the bottom left part of your screen and type in sys information. If you're in Windows 11, like I am, you would do it down here. And what we're using this for, folks, is it is telling us what our BIOS version is. 0412. This is the first release, okay? So we're going to update this. Now, what I'm going to do is I could go to Google or whatever this is here, this search bar, Bing, ASUS H610M-E. D4, you probably don't even need D4 because they're not going to make a D5 version of this, right? So then we'll click on this guy right here. And over here, over here you have support, not the one up here, right? We don't want this support, we want this one. Then you're going to go uh, driver utility, BIOS. Hopefully you guys can see all that can't really see necessarily what the uh, what's on the screen um, pan down a little for y'all show all okay so you saw version 0412 we're going to update the BIOS to 0601 uh, eventually I'll download this but let's talk about this so you may do this uh, you may watch this video in 2023 2024 there may be a bunch more BIOS updates in here okay for the most part, these will be cumulative. You want to read the description of these because occasionally there may be one that pops up that says, hey, you must do this BIOS update before you can do the most current, okay? But if there was eight of these, most likely you only have to do one, okay? However, like I said, if it says you must update this other one, you might have to do this twice. Now, ASUS, uh, the new 12th gen BIOS updates are a little finicky. From what I've been seeing, but uh, I've I've done uh, six of them, and so far, you know, they've all gone smoothly. But uh, there's been a couple issues, little hiccups that I've worked through. So hopefully, this one will go good. Now, before we get into this, folks, um, you know, you want to do a weather check. Make sure, honestly, that you're doing this on a, a good day, uh, nice, clear, maybe a sunny day. Don't do it during a hurricane, tornado, windstorm, hailstorm, meteor storm, electromagnetic storm, what else? Uh, thunderstorm, all that kind of stuff, right? Desert storm, I don't know. So just be uh, you know, cognizant of that. If you know the electric company is going to turn off your power that day, don't do it that day either. All right? Because you could break your motherboard while this is going on, okay? If you have a uh, UPS, UPS. Uh, you know, not a bad idea to have your computer plugged into that while you're doing it. Okay, so we've talked about, you know, that, uh, the safety, talked about BIOS files, reasons for doing a BIOS update. Well, in the future, you know, there may be 13th gen that works with this motherboard. Who knows? They may, Intel may come back and say, oh, no, we're not going to give you that. Uh, there may be security stuff out there for Windows uh, I doubt there's going to be a Windows, you know, 13 anytime soon, or Windows 12, I should say. But you never know; you may see a BIOS update for uh, Windows 12 for this. Hardware compatibility, uh, RAM, you know, all kinds of issues there usually. SSDs. When 13th gen comes out for Intel, you know, if it does, then obviously BIOS update. So those are the main reasons. There are a lot of other ones, but. I'll spare you guys. All right, so let's download this file. Now you want to make sure you do the right one, right? If you do this one, you'll uh, just end up putting the same BIOS back on your computer. All right, so we downloaded it. Now up here, I'm going to click on Show Folder, and then come back over this way. Hopefully, this is still in focus for y'all. I'm going to right mouse click, extract all, 
extract and then boom here's this okay so with this version of uh, or ASUS's motherboards you have to rename this file I mean this file looks great right now but unfortunately we have to click on this and so you saw boom it renamed over here you've got to press any key to get this screen to go bye bye and now we're pretty good here what we need to do though is copy this folder over to our USB okay there's my USB drop that in there boom it's in there now just so you can see it this is formatted to NTFS okay now sometimes BIOS won't recognize a USB no matter what it is formatted to um, sometimes depending on the BIOS it may not like certain types of formatting so in this case it will recognize this I'll let you know that ahead of time now something else you could do you could take this BIOS file copy it and drop it in here okay so it's at the root so when we go in here it's the first thing you see uh, matter of fact I'm actually going to do that cost you a step here save you a step later okay alright so it's good now we're going to reboot so depending on what version of Windows you have restart and it's probably going to tell me I got a bunch of programs open blah 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 you start anyways so I'm clicking on delete key as it boots up if you do it fast enough you won't even see the message about uh, clicking on delete or F2 and when we go in we will be in easy mode okay so easy mode doesn't have the BIOS update stuff in it we need to go to advanced mode down here in the lower right okay from there once we're in advanced mode you can see across the top there we're gonna go to tool and then I don't know if you'll be able to read this uh, we are you know relatively close to the screen but over here it says ASUS easy flash 3 utility we want that so we're gonna click on it that brings this up okay um, just so you can see what it says on top UEFI BIOS utility advanced mode so here you have to find your thumb drive okay these are all your drives over here I know the very bottom one is my thumb drive so I'm gonna click on it and then we're gonna scroll this way and you can see uh, here was one of the folders on there here is our BIOS file. Here is the folder that had the BIOS file and the renamer in it. Um, for those that didn't drop and drag this over, you would click on this folder. Me, though, I'm going to just click on that file. It says, get this notice here. Please back up your BitLocker if you have that, blah, blah, blah. We don't. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Click yes. It's one thing I hate about the BIOS. Um, it's like a delayed reaction. Easy Flash, do you want to read this file? Yes, I do. Do you really want to update the BIOS? So once again, check the weather. Make sure you really want to do this. Uh, there is risk associated with this. Uh, you know, not every BIOS, not every motherboard BIOS successfully gets updated. I will tell you that. Um, I can't remember the last time I've had a problem, so, and I've updated hundreds of these things. So, we are going to say yes, we want to do this. And you'll see over there processing. This happens, goes real fast uh, with this one for some reason. So, you see, there's that BIOS version 0601. Or at least, hopefully, it's going to go real fast. I don't know if you guys can even see this. It's weird. Uh, looking at the cell phone screen, it's barely 
doesn't seem to show it, but the line is right here. So hopefully when this uh, shows up on the screen, you guys can see it. I'll try and... Yeah, weird. Just like that color is not uh, compatible with my cell phone screen. I don't know. So we're about, what, 10, 15% of the way? 20% maybe? A long way to go still. I'm going to try, you know, trying to record this so you see the whole process and know exactly how long it takes. We're at uh, about 10.44 right now. Obviously, if I talk less, this would be faster, right? So, probably get this done in, you know, six minutes or less, potentially. And we are currently here, in case you can't see it. And even though I like I like my screen here, it's a curved 1440p screen. Um, I'm not sure it's ideal for this, but it does at least uh, allow me to put the camera in the center of it and rotate left, rotate right, same stays the same distance. So I think it's staying in focus relatively good for you all. And we are right here now, so 85% maybe. It would be nice if they'd show you a percentage. Now this should reboot right into the BIOS or um, right before the BIOS asking me to go into setup. All right, so you saw that. And update successfully. System will reset. You don't even get a chance to click OK, all right, just so you know. We should get a message over here in the lower left. How do I know that? Well, I have updated at least three ASUS 12th gen motherboards. And they've pretty much been doing the same thing, so we'll see. Um, you could go ahead and hit delete F2 right here if you wanted to, but boom, you get this message. Basically, you know, we just we want to hit F1 go into the BIOS and then I'll show you the BIOS version it was successful okay 0601 alright so now one thing that did happen folks it uh, I think it reset my XMP I'm gonna re-enable that because I want my uh, RAM to run it's gonna run at 3200 megahertz not 3600 even though I'm sure Intel could do a BIOS update and get this thing much higher than it is but so one other thing for you guys this happens a lot this may your boot priority it may change on you okay so probably should have told you it's the first time we were in here make sure you know which one of your drives is the one you're booting from because if it changes and you're like why does it keep booting into the BIOS over and over no matter what you do um, good chance these have been swapped on you okay it may totally uh, reset everything in your BIOS um, so other things can happen there related to hard drives okay we're not going to go into that but uh, I can tell you probably not a bad idea before you do this to come in here and take a screenshot of this uh, I think this version I don't see it on here, but a lot of times you can take photos inside of this. Uh, you know, grab your cell phone, take a shot of it, just so you know what the settings were. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.